I want to know from the Prime Minister how my poorest brothers and sisters who have received their week's hard-earned wage in one 500 rupee note will buy Atta Chal tomorrow. This is a heartless and ill-conceived blow to the common people, the middle class, the agricultural cooperatives, the tea garden workers, the unorganized labor sector, the shopkeepers, the small businessmen, all will suffer, there will be starvation deaths. Sir, I will carry on quoting. This is no Bob Dylan quote. This is Mamta Banerjee reacting to this decision. Not 10 days, not 15 days, within two hours. With all the wisdom of an economist who perhaps has never been to, the, to do a PhD in economics, as we heard the very uh, erudite uh, intervention today by, from our former Prime Minister. The reason is very simple. And the reason is only one word. Because Trinamool means grassroots. Now this government has been saying, we had to do all this because we had to keep it secret. Two questions to the government. If you had to keep it secret, what prevented you from printing for the last one year 100 rupee notes? No one would have suspected. You keep printing 100 rupee notes and no one would have suspected. Mr. Jetley, you're squirming in your seat, maybe you're turning up your face, but why didn't you print more 100 rupee notes? Perhaps because even you didn't know that when this announcement was going to be made. Secrecy cannot be the excuse for putting people in pain. If it was so secret, then when you were doing the spectrum auctions, why didn't you at that time plan that you have to reach out with telephony to villages? Today, we are talking about four out of five villages in India, sir, don't have a bank. After you do all this, again you run a poll yesterday, some WhatsApp poll, which says 92% are happy. Which 92% are happy? Who are you keeping happy? Black money and white money. The system in India here, sir, is there is a black and a white. No, sir. This is a flowing economy. We need to understand this. I get a salary of 400 rupees. I get a salary of, that's why it's totally impractical. I get a salary of 400 rupees, which I withdraw from my bank account, and I use it, let's say, to buy chewing gum and soft drinks to a, into a panwala. So he takes the money. Out of the 400 rupees I spend, he spends 300 rupees paying back the retail chain, whoever, whoever, the, whoever the manufacturer is. So he takes my white money, takes it and pays the, uh, the retail chain, so he pays 300. The other 100, he buys for 80 rupees pan leaves. Now, he buys pan leaves from the farmer who sold it to someone, so that is black money. My white money has become black. It's not bad, but there is no watertight compartment between black money, there's a white money, the way our economy is designed, there is a complete flow between black and between white. And this is why implementation is being, is being made, sir, such a, such a problem. So here's some numbers I want to give to the Prime Minister. Please reply to us, sir. We are saying that GDP per day is 45,000 crores. Of this, 59% is private consumption or how, on household financial expenditure, which is about 27,000 crores. 87% of this is cash. That's about 24,000 crores. So my question is, if it's 80, 84, uh, 24,000 cash and it's been 15 days, my submission is, and challenge my figure, we have lost 3,75,000 crores of GDP in the last 15 days. Mr. Prime Minister Ji, with all respect, anyone who opposes your policy is not for black money. Anyone who opposes your policy is not anti-national. Why are you giving us these lectures on corruption and black money we oppose? We are opposing you because people are suffering. We are opposing you because we believe the economy will be killed. But why are you making this an issue? While we are fighting this battle on behalf of the people, I know and I get the confidence and the inspiration from Bamta Di to say this. Try as you may through your agencies to hassle and harass us. That will make us, give us more conviction to fight you with conviction.